Shaquille O'Neal is a big dude. There's no doubt about that. Being 7 foot and 1 inch tall, weighing 325 pounds is an awesome advantage in the game of basketball. But it makes for a difficult transition into regular civilian life. For instance, think about the car you drive. Could Shaq fit into it? Probably not. That's why his rides are so awesome and strange, almost all of them are custom made to allow a Shaq sized dude access into the driver's seat. Or in some cases the motorbike seat. Shaq was known by many names during his playing days, the Big Cactus, the Big Aristotle, the Big Shamrock, and so on and so forth. But outside of his game and nicknames, Shaq has always been known for his illustrious list of awesome custom vehicles. From pickup trucks to motorcycles, sports cars, to go-karts, the Big Shaq just knows how to ride in style. Having now 50 years old, and a net worth estimated at $400 million at the time of this recording, Shaq loved and loves to splurge himself with some insane, quite strange cars. So today on the Celebrity Cars, we're going to see Shaquille O'Neal's car collection. Shaq's Ferrari 355 F1 Spider had to be customized to fit his massive frame. The key problem spot was the engine mount. The chassis was stretched, and the top removed so he could fit his huge head inside without sloping his shoulders, or ducking throughout the entire drive. In a bizarre story he sold the car to a museum. Eventually, the place was busted for fraud, and the Ferrari was found inside still bearing the tag which read Shaq F1. This has to be the baddest Hummer 2 ever made. Shaq's Hummer 2, features 26-inch Asante rims. It gets better though. Each rim spoke is handmade, and engraved with the Superman logo on it. The fuel tank cover also sports the Superman logo. Inside you won't notice the interior much. Shaq has an 18-inch subwoofer installed, to keep the party moving down the road. So while some consider the Hummer 2 as anti-environment, and bad for the planet, we think it is the perfect vehicle for an NBA all-star. Now, this is just laughable. Have you ever been in a smart car? It's like being inside of a toaster. I can't imagine a high school basketball player fitting in here, much less a man the size of Shaquille O'Neal. Does your Cadillac Escalade of butterfly doors and the Superman logo on the grill? That's because you aren't Shaq. His luxury SUV features wide tires to ensure his large body rides in style. Also, the entire thing has been lowered to for reasons of personal taste, Shaq has a huge pimp factor. And while the doors do not actually create more room for height, they do take into account Shaq's width. He is 300 pounds after all. That makes getting in and out of normal cars a bit of a challenge, when doors don't quite open wide enough to allow escape. West Coast Customs took on the task of outfitting a Jeep Wrangler for Shaq. The ironic thing is they didn't need to make any frame mods to accommodate his 7 apostrophe 1 frame. But don't worry, it still has plenty of customization. For starters, WCC used a Wrangler Unlimited chassis because it is 20.6 inches longer than the standard one. Front and red doors were fused together to create one long door for proportion sake. This allowed the front seats to be set back further so the NBA star has all the necessary leg room he needs. Ironically, the Jeep looks as normal as any other Wrangler on the street. Dodge has been in the heart of Shaq for many years now. Back in the day, he owned a 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat, with aftermarket headlights and wheels. Also, the Department of Clayton County, Georgia, felt it will be a good match for Shaq to gift him a sheriff's Dodge Charger. Have you ever seen a Dodge Challenger convertible? Well, this one was custom built for Shaq, by Drop Top Customs of Florida. The original cost for this beauty was just over $80,000. But as of today, Shaq got himself a custom wide body Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Demon convertible. Shaq's demon started out life as a red car, of course. But now it features black paint up front that changes to red midway down the sides, along with custom graphics on the rear flanks. It also packs custom wheels with lighting behind them, which gives the car a pretty sweet glow while it rides through Atlanta at night. And for his 50th birthday, he got himself an insane custom Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, seems that Dodgers are one of his faves. Ford always loves to show off their F-150 pickup truck as one of the most utilitarian, toughest, versatile trucks around. It's those qualities that skyrocket the F-150 to the top of bestseller lists year after year. However, even Ford couldn't envision what Shaq did. He wrapped the entire thing with a bright gold, 
complementing the truck with black rims that give it an almost spider-like quality. As a Fords, he owned and owns a great amount of them. Like a Ford F650 pickup, a Ford F650 XLT Super Duty truck, a 2011 Ford Mustang convertible wide body, a Ford Bronco 2, and a Ford F350 pickup. This might seem like an unlikely vehicle for the 7-foot-1 center. However, many celebrities, like Jamie Foxx, own a Venice three-wheel roadster. This particular Venice includes a 1.4, four-cylinder turbo engine with a six-speed automatic transmission. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the 18-inch wheels, 400 white BT sound and massive amounts of legroom. Still, with all that you can scoop one up for about 30k. Shaq has been spotted frequently in his Vanderhall Roadster in Malibu. Shaq's Cadillac has been renamed the Shackalack, with fun fully intended. This car was built by West Coast Customs during his time with the Miami Heat. Shackalack features a gorgeous candy apple burgundy paint job with 22 inch Asante wheels. In total, about $100,000 was spent to customize the vehicle. Then Shaq sent it off to auction in 2014. Remember that time Shaq bought a two-seater Polaris slingshot? Well, he was obviously so pleased with it that he moved up to a four-seater. Yet, in Shaq's case it might as well be a three-seater since he will have to move the driver's seat back as far as possible for legroom. And while you can buy a Polaris four-seater for about 16k, we don't know what Shaq's cost. Remember, he is known for completely customizing his vehicles and this one has been hush-hush. It's no secret Shaq loves chrome on his vehicle so it should come as no surprise to see his Range Rover decked out with a chrome Superman logo, chrome wheels and a chrome mesh grille. However, that's about it as far as customization goes for this Rover. So she asked Mercedes began life as an S550 sedan. However, things took a left turn after that there because he is so big. For starters, the top is chopped off and a fabric roof was added, the B column between the doors was removed and the rear doors are suicide doors. Remember that one time Czech bought three Bentleys on an impulse? Yeah, he doesn't like to talk about it much either. Turns out Mike Tyson was in the Beverly Hills Rolls Royce dealership the same time he was. Tyson was adding two Bentleys to his collection when Shaq walked up to the salesman and asked how much they cost. His reply was, can you afford this sonny boy? That pissed him off so much he bought three on the spot. Of course, he was younger and had an ego. Now he's loaded and has everything. So here's the secret about Shaq's custom Vader Roadster. It's not a Vader or at all. It's a kit car that fits on the powertrain of an Infiniti G35. And get this, the kit only cost $11,000. However, Shaq's is a bit more than that because he hired Super Craft Custom Crafted Cars to custom build his vehicle, say that five times really fast. All of the pedals, seats and lower dash were modified so he could comfortably fit inside, and the entire roof was removed for headroom purposes. Yet, he might still need to duck to keep bugs from smacking his face. Customized by Gaffalio family metal crafters, Shaq's Lambo had to be stretched so he could fit. The door, windows and roof were all stretched to make room for the 7-foot center. Gaffalio said they relied heavily on their aerospace and coachworks division for the stretch. The idea was to keep the look of the Gallardo as authentic as possible. So while lit is longer, you don't even notice it. You will notice it on the road however. It's a Lamborghini after all. Sure, this car was modified for him to fit inside. Look at the roof for instance. However, the real story here goes beyond the car itself. Shaq loves Rolls Royce vehicles so he bought one for himself and his teammate at the time. King James. Yep, yeah, this has a Superman symbol on the grill. It's Shaq's signature move. The Lincoln Navigator is also known as Shaq's first pimped out ride. West Coast Customs did the work featuring a lowered ride with a silver blue metallic paint job. It also features flashing strobe lights in the front grille and a Kenny Bell supercharged engine. The interior headliner is gray suede and plush black leather seats seal the deal. Ironically enough, Shaq sold it and the current owner listed it for sale in May of 2018 for $12,500 due to medical conditions. But his collection of rides doesn't end there. Shaq also owns lots of cars like, a 63 Cadillac Eldorado, a Chevrolet Express G1500, a Rolls Royce Cullinan, a Nicola Badger, a Mercedes Sprinter van, a Monster Chopper Trike, and a custom tour bus. A part of cars, Shaq also owns a yacht. The Shaq yacht is estimated at a whopping $130 million. The yacht is a luxurious space fit for any event and can hold up to 24 guests and 40 people on board, including the crew. As of now, in term of cars, 
Shaquille O'Neal has a garage estimated at 32 cars and the value of it, is estimated at around $3.5 million. Including a $130 million yacht. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.